Imagine building a business on an emerging platform like the internet in the early 2000s or building some of the first iPhone apps. Well, with the recent release of ChatGPT plugins, you now have an opportunity to do just that. I have a feeling that this opportunity is going to be far bigger than the crypto and NFT wave we've just seen. This is because anyone can start building these plugins in a matter of minutes with the help of ChatGPT. So in this video, I'm going to be giving away 10 different million dollar ChatGPT plugin ideas that I've come up with myself for you to steal and start building now before everyone else catches on to this once in a decade opportunity. At the end of the video, I'm going to be giving away two more bonus ideas that are my personal favorites that I almost didn't include. So if you don't know me, my name is Liam Otley and I build AI applications for my clients through my development company. Now in the few days since the release of ChatGPT plugins, we have been bombarded with people asking us to build them plugins. So I know people are already moving on this opportunity. So I wanted to make a video for you guys to help you get a jump on this opportunity before everyone else and do so by giving you examples of insane chat GPT plugins that you can create to start making money with AI. But before we get into the ideas, there are a few things that you must understand in order to be able to take advantage of this opportunity. Understanding the importance of plugins may seem challenging initially, but what I'm about to tell you will put you ahead of 99% of other people. This technology can get you this much closer to financial freedom. So stick with me and I promise it will be worth it. I'm sure you've seen the 1001 ways to make money with ChatGPT, MedJourney and Stable Diffusion that have swamped the internet lately. All of these hustles are nothing compared to the huge opportunity that has just landed in our laps called ChatGPT plugins. David Sachs, a famous venture capitalist in Silicon Valley has recently said, plugins is a modest name for what could be the most powerful developer platform ever created. He then follows up with, if ChatGPT was the iPhone moment for AI, plugins is the app store moment. What Sachs is pointing out is the revolutionary shift in computing that is underway. ChatGPT plugins serves as a new way for users to interact with all of their favorite apps and new functionality all through a chatbot. In simple terms, ChatGPT plugins are like eyes and legs for ChatGPT, allowing it to interact with the real world and perform real world actions. Think of ChatGPT as the iPhone and plugins as the apps. For example, the Instacart plugin allows you to order groceries from within ChatGPT. The Kayak plugin allows you to search for flights, accommodation, and rental cars. And the Speak plugin acts as a personalized language coach within ChatGPT. Essentially, ChatGPT users can now access all of their favorite websites and all of their favorite apps all from within a chatbot interface. So this provides us with two huge opportunities to make money. Firstly, by creating plugins that connect existing applications to ChatGPT, or secondly, creating plugins for your very own apps. Now, an example of the first type would be to create a plugin that allows people to connect to their Spotify or their Gmail and operate their Spotify and Gmail from ChatGPT. Or an example of the second type could be a plugin that scrapes all stock market data and makes it available to people through a chatbot. For example, they could ask, what stocks are down over 30% in the past quarter. So you're essentially taking a bunch of publicly available data and making some kind of application out of it yourself. Within the 10 plugin ideas that I'm about to share with you, you're gonna see both of these types. Now, please don't be scared off by all of this coder talk. You do not need to know how to code to take advantage of this opportunity, but knowing these basics that I've just taught you about will help in the long run. So with that all out of the way, you're finally clear on what plugins are, how they operate, and why this is such a huge opportunity, we can finally get into the good stuff. Now, remember, I am throwing in my two personal favorite ideas as a bonus at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. So the first ChatGPT plugin idea is a crypto trader assistant bot. This product will be created for crypto traders and crypto investors in order to give them access to real-time financial information in a more accessible way. There are thousands and thousands of tokens across the crypto market. So for someone looking to trade or invest, being able to essentially filter through these different coins and figure out which ones meet the criteria would be hugely valuable. For example, someone may want to search what coins are down 50% over the past three months. What you could then do is use the CoinMarketCap API to search for any tokens that meet that criteria and then give it back to the users nice and quick. Idea number two is a personal inbox management bot. This bot would use the Gmail API to connect to the user's Gmail and then allow them to interact with it in a natural way. For example, a user could wake up in the morning, hop onto ChatGPT and ask, 
give me a one line summary of all of the emails that came in overnight. From there, you could also allow them to easily respond to all of these so that they get all of the inbox management done in the morning. Or you could provide them with some sort of easy labeling feature, which would, since you read all of the emails, determine what they're about and then label it with the correct label so that your inbox is all sorted and labeled correctly. Idea number three is a Facebook ads assistant. Almost all businesses are using Facebook and Instagram ads through the Facebook Ads Manager right now. What this app will do is connect to the business owner's Facebook Ads Manager via the Marketing API, which is a product that Facebook allows people to use. Now, once you have access to the performance data of all their ads, then you can do a number of different things such as data analysis or turning on and off campaigns and ad sets or even suggesting new campaigns to run. If you created this app so it actually knew how to run Facebook ads in a profitable way, this would be enormously valued because suddenly a business owner can run their own ads through ChatGPT instead of having to outsource it to a marketing agency and paying thousands of dollars a month. This application is obviously huge in scope, but imagine the amount of value that would be unlocked with this kind of application. Idea number four is a real estate assistant. This is very similar to the crypto app in that you are accessing the entire market's worth of information, but making it easily accessible through chat interfaces. For example, someone could enter the area, the budget and the house size of what they're looking for into the chatbot and it would search for it within the APIs that are provided by Zillow or other realtors. And then it could easily provide them with all of the houses that match that search. This would be such a game changer because instead of having to manually set up filters and preferences and, and filter through all these different properties, you could just search it with a natural language prompt and get back the houses that you want. Idea number five is an accurate movie review tool. Now this one is super simple, but I wanted to throw it in here to show you guys the, the range of possibilities here in terms of how big and how small these apps can be. I came up with the idea for this plugin because before I watch a movie, I like to check Rotten Tomatoes to see if it has any good or bad reviews. If you wanted to automate that process, you could use a, a plugin app like this where I could type in a the name of a movie, it would search the Rotten Tomatoes API, which you're able to apply for access to. What it would then do is take all of the movie reviews from regular people and then sort of summarize them all and give me a nice, concise pros and cons. Say the good things about this movie, people found with this, some people found that these were the issues with the movie. Essentially, it would save me the time of going through all of the reviews manually and essentially figuring out the trends of what's bad about the movie so that I can determine if I want to watch it or not. Now, before we get on to number six, if you are enjoying this video and you want more juicy plugins content just like this, be sure to head down below and subscribe and hit the bell because I have a ton more videos exactly like this coming on the way, as well as full tutorials on how you can build your first plugin using as little code as possible. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like because if we can hit 500 likes on this video, I will make another video exactly like this with another 10 plugin ideas for you guys to get started on. Plugin idea number six is a personal coaching app. This kind of plugin would be perfect for people with a coaching business so that they're able to take all of the knowledge and all of the information that they regularly teach their students and make it available to a chatbot through a custom knowledge base. Now I've made videos about this on my channel previously, but this is essentially making a plugin version so that people can sell it as part of their coaching package. People with coaching businesses could load all their information into this plugin, and then all of their students could get one-on-one -on -one access and 24 seven assistance in the coaching program from this custom chatbot. In my own development company, we have done this kind of thing over and over again for clients. So I know the demand is there. So if you could create a plugin to automate that and essentially package it up nicely, then you'd have a very valuable business on your hands. Plugin idea number seven is a e-commerce data analysis assistant. This application would allow owners of Shopify stores to essentially connect to their Shopify account and use the Shopify API to import all of their information, all of their sales data, and then be able to provide insights to the customer through ChatGPT. Once you have access to this data, you can then provide custom reporting, or you could allow the e-commerce store owner to pull insights out of that data in a new kind of way. And from these insights, they're able to make better decisions about how they run their business. E-commerce is a huge business and store owners typically have a lot of money to invest in anything that's gonna help them make more money or make their lives easier. Plugin idea number eight is a YouTube research tool. This tool would be aimed at creators on YouTube who are looking for assistance in finding trending videos within the niche or finding pockets of search where they could place their videos. Essentially, you could get the users to provide a few examples of competitors and you could go out and find more just like that. And then you could start tracking all the videos that they're posting and essentially provide them with insights and examples of videos that are doing well within the niche at that current time. Alternatively, you could help them to find holes in the niche essentially and find high value keywords 
that would be good to create a video for and essentially block up a place so you can rank high in the search. All of this can be done through the YouTube API. Idea number nine is YouTube Creator Data Analysis. This application is another one focused at the booming creator industry. What you would essentially do is connect to the creator's account via the YouTube API. You're then able to import the video analytics data so that you can start to provide insights much in the same way that we did with the e-commerce application. You can build systems to dig through this data and provide actionable insights for the creator to improve their channel and continue their growth. Now I know that there are YouTube consultants that are charging thousands of dollars per month for this kind of data analysis. So it should be a very easy sell if you can come in at a low price point with an offer like this. And finally, plugin idea number 10 is a news aggregator bot. This bot is another fairly simple one that you can create, which essentially allows users to get access to a ton of information in a nice summarized distilled form. For example, the user could come onto ChatGPT and switch to the plugin and ask, please give me a one page summary of the AI news in the past week. This bot would then use the Twitter API to scrape all of the AI related content and then put it through a large language model like GPT-3 and start to dig through it and summarize it until it comes down to a nice one page summary to give to the user. This would essentially be like creating your own personalized newsletter, the same way you get email newsletters given to you from different niches and different providers. This could be extremely useful in use cases like crypto and finance where people are able to make a lot of money based on correct information that is timely and up to date. So you've made it through the 10 plugin ideas. Thank you for sticking around to the end because these two are my personal favorites that I kind of wish I wasn't giving away because they're such good ideas. Bonus idea number one is a life coach plugin for Notion. If you're not familiar with Notion, it's a very, very flexible note-taking app that you can customize in a number of ways to personalize it, essentially as a hub for all of your personal information, tasks, etc. One thing that people often use their Notion for is journaling. This application would connect to the user's Notion account through the Notion API, and then it would extract all of their journal entries privately and safely, of course, and store them all in a custom knowledge base. What they would then be able to do through ChatGPT is draw insights out of those journal entries. This application would use the power of large language models to extract information and insights from someone's journals like we've never been able to do before. For example, you could ask it, when was the last time I felt like this and how did I get through it? Or what were the things that I struggled with over the past three months? If someone has a regular journaling system where they regularly write down things that could have gone better during the day or things that made them feel happy or things they're grateful for, once you're stacking these up over many months or even years, being able to extract insights out of these and, and compare like hundreds of different journal entries is something we've never been able to do before and it could be a completely new product to sell to people. I for one would love to use an app like this so that I don't have to manually go through my journals and identify trends myself, the computer can do it for me. And finally, bonus plugin number two is a lead generation assistant. Lead generation is a huge business and it is vital to almost any business you can imagine. This application would allow users to set up new lead generation campaigns through a program called Phantom Buster. The best part is that Phantom Buster has their own API. So what you can do is create your application to allow people to build campaigns in Phantom Buster all from the comfort of their ChatGPT interface. Phantom Buster allows you to create campaigns that automatically scrape LinkedIn for leads, essentially extracting the phone number and email from leads that you were looking for in certain industries. Now you could make this plugin even more valuable to people in need of lead generation services by not only connecting it to one application, i.e. Phantom Buster, but to multiple different lead generation platforms, essentially allowing them to shrink their workflow down to just messaging ChatGPT and they're able to set up campaigns on multiple different apps at once. This gets me so excited because this is the kind of crazy leaps in technology that we're seeing from AI technology. I know that was a ton of information, but you've made it through. If you see plugins as the life-changing opportunity that they are, and you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to head down below and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you're notified for the next one because I have a ton more content exactly like this on plugins, how to build them, how to research different plugin ideas, etc. all coming to you very soon. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss that. Now, this video took a ton of work to put together. So I'd really, really appreciate if you could go down there and leave me a like. And as I said before, if this gets over 500 likes, I'll be making another video just like this, another 10 plugin ideas that I'll have to go out and figure out for you guys. But Whatever you guys want, I'll do it if I can hit that 500 like uh, target. We are still so early to this. 
but that does not mean that you can sit around and wait. Do not miss this amazing opportunity. You need to go and grab a couple of these ideas, write them down, start planning, talk to people about it, other entrepreneurs, developers, etc. Even better, if you go and join my community Discord, we are all talking about plugins in there. We have calls and workshops about how we're planning to make the most of this. So if you're interested in getting in a community filled with people who are looking to do the exact same stuff, be sure to head down below and join my Discord. The link is in the description. Now I do have one quick disclaimer to add at the end of this video, and that's that I will say that companies like Spotify and Google, etc., I believe that they will soon or potentially in the future, they will be building their own plugins to integrate all of their functionality with ChatGPT. But I think we have a long time before we see massive widespread adoption of this plugin technology. So you can move fast, you can build these applications and create cool use cases using these APIs and make a ton of money and potentially exit on the company while this lasts. So please don't mess around, but also be aware that down the line, we may see these companies essentially take all of their application and make it available through a chatbot interface. So that's all for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.